there's a first time for everything. And Saturday marks the first ever matchup between the Ohio Bobcats and Eastern Illinois Panthers. EIU is the back-to-back -back Ohio Valley Conference champion, finishing 12-2 last season after falling to Towson in the Football Championship Subdivision quarterfinals in December. The Panthers enter the game with a 1-3 record after defeating Austin Peay 63-7 last weekend. Jalen Whitlow and Andrew Manley have been taking turns under center for EIU. If either of those names sound familiar, it's because Whitlow used to play for Kentucky and Manley was the signal caller at New Mexico State when the Aggies played against the Bobcats in 2012. Along with helping the team through the air, Whitlow leads the team in rushing yards, averaging 70 per game. Similar to EIU, the Bobcats have utilized two quarterbacks in their last three games, but redshirt sophomore J.D. Sprague will be called upon to lead the offense as redshirt junior Darius Vick, one of the team's captains, suffered an injury last week against Idaho. Addressing the quarterbacks in his weekly press conference, Coach Frank Solich says that they are both guys that have studied the game and the coaching staff has a lot of confidence in both players and that the good thing is they don't have to devise an offense around Sprague to execute his entire offense. Sprague enters week five with 344 passing yards and one touchdown pass. Brendan Cope and Sebastian Smith lead the team in receiving, combining for 326 yards through four weeks. The Ohio defense will have to adjust for the Panthers triple option offense, which is something they will see for the first time this season. In preparations, Solich says that it's going to be a challenge for his team to get ready for everything the Panthers do offensively. The Bobcat running game has had trouble securing the ball in recent weeks, but will be able to rely on several contributors in the backfield. A.J. Ouellette and Daz Patterson have had the most carries, but Tim Edmond and Dorian Brown have shown strong efforts despite limited carries. Ohio will be looking for its third straight home win, dating back to last season. Kickoff from Peden Stadium is set for 2 p.m.